Well, tonight, saving Julia's vision. CBS's Lisa Siegel has the story of an Orange County mother whose sight was saved through a very unconventional treatment, liposuction. Julia Matsumoto's medical odyssey began in October 2010. I was 31 years old and um, I had just a severe headache. The Fountain Valley mom says her headache was the beginning of a terrifying ordeal. As her pain began to ease, her world got darker and darker. Within a month, her field of vision. It was the size of a pin drop and eventually complete darkness. Julia's diagnosis, optic neuritis, an autoimmune swelling of the nerve connecting her eyes to her brain. No one knows what causes it or why it happened to Julia. For some reason, her body's attacking itself and causing inflammation and damaging the nerve. Los Alamitos ophthalmologist Larry Geis says the condition usually responds to steroids like prednisone. That could control it. There's no question when we gave her that her vision was pretty good. She could see again, but the dosage Julia needed, 100 milligrams a day, caused extreme side effects. I gained over 100 pounds within three months. The stretch marks on Julia's arms were nothing compared to the organ and joint damage going on inside. It got to a point where I couldn't walk, couldn't enjoy my life. Julia's vision came at such a high price, even Dr. Geist started to wonder. Is it better sometimes to, in this case, let a person go blind, or are you going to kill them with the steroids? Julia's decision, stop the prednisone. I told my daughter that I would always remember her the way she, she looked. And, She'd have to describe to me her prom dress, her wedding dress, and <laughs> it was very difficult to do, but it was the best choice for me at the time because um, I was slowly dying from the medication. Julia accepted losing her vision. She also lost her job and her health insurance, but she didn't lose her grip on Dr. Geis. He continued to look for answers. She's just that kind of person that touches your heart. The feeling you have is that you would do anything to get her better. Dr. Geis learned of a surgeon in Beverly Hills testing stem cell therapy as an alternative to medication. As a cosmetic surgeon, I've been harvesting fat to throw it out because people want to get rid of it. Now I tell people who come for liposuction, don't be so quick. Your fat is loaded with stem cells. Dr. Geis was intrigued. He said, I think this might work for you. And I said, well, I don't have anything else to lose. Hey, Julia. Julia got Julia her first was... treatment in November 2011. It began with liposuction to her belly. Next, the stem cells were separated from the fat and the blood. Then those concentrated healing cells were infused back into her body through an IV. We saw her like um, three or four days after the procedure. And I'm telling you, it was just miraculous. There was a hummingbird whizzing by, and it had, I could see this bright red on it. And I wasn't able to see that before. Julia was also able to put away her red tipped cane. I actually stopped using this. I could walk around on my own. Probably one of the most heartwarming uh, Christmas cards I ever received in my life when her son sent me a, a note, thank you doctor for giving my mom her eyesight back. With the stem cells, we can at least keep her vision and we've got her off of the steroids completely. And I mean, that just in itself has been like a miracle. Julia says it's wonderful to feel like a normal mother. Ooh, nice catch, Jacob. And again, be able to respond to all those look at me mom moments. Nice. I'm forever grateful. It's given me a new life. Uh, well, to keep her vision, Julia needs to repeat treatments every two months. Stem cell therapies are experimental and not FDA approved. During Julia's journey, both doctors are treating her for free.